Hello peoples, Digital Mouse here. I installed a 4TB SSD into my Legion Go. And yes, I did have to use a Dremel for this. And I did run into a couple of problems along the way. For this install, I'll be using this adapter I found on Amazon to install the larger 2280 SSD. You can see the difference in size between the inland SSD I had installed and the new Crucial 2280. First, I ensured the Legion Go was powered off. I removed the case as well as the right and left controllers and took out my micro SD card. I then began removing the screws. I used this Phillips head screwdriver I got from a JSOX mod kit. I absolutely love this thing. There were a total of six screws I had to remove from the back plate. Then I used this pry tool to separate the back plate from the Legion Go. It took a little time, but once I got it started, it came off easily. Once I got the back cover off, I unplugged the battery. I had to adjust it slightly, but I took it slow and it eventually came loose. I unscrewed the old SSD, then removed it. When I installed this 2TB inland SSD into my Legion Go, I first downloaded Macrian Reflex software to clone my original SSD. To install this 2280 Crucial, I'm going to use the Sabrent SSD enclosure. This is something I wish I had known about and purchased a long time ago. It holds two NVMe M.2 SSDs, and they can be of different sizes. It's made of aluminum and has active cooling. It has a USB Type-C connection port and requires 5 volt DC power. The thing I like most about this device is this button on top. It activates the cloning function. With this device, all I have to do is insert my old SSD on the A side, then insert the new SSD on the B side. Press the button, and it clones my original SSD. I wouldn't have to download any software onto my device, or that's what I thought. We'll get back to this point later in the video. This is an incredibly convenient tool for me, but it's not something I would recommend for most people to go out and buy. Unless, of course, you frequently back up your SSDs or like modding your hardware. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button. It helps the channel. I inserted the inland SSD I removed from the Legion Go on the A side. The Sabrent enclosure comes with these plungers which hold the SSD in place. Just attach them to the SSD, then push them down into the appropriate mounting point. I did the same with the new 4TB 2280 Crucial. I inserted it into the B side port, then used the plunger to push it into place. Once the SSDs were installed, I placed the cover back on the enclosure plugged in the DC power, turned it on, then pressed the clone button. The Sabred enclosure began the cloning process. I monitored the progress of the process using the LED lights on top. It went from flashing 25% to 50%, 75 to 100. When the lights stopped flashing at 100 and remained a solid blue, I knew the cloning process was complete. For this install, I also wanted to add a cooler kit. I installed the silicone thermal pad, then install the heat dissipating copper plate on top of that. I plugged the adapter into the SSD port and screwed it into place. I installed the SSD, then replaced the battery. I had to adjust it slightly, but again, I took my time and eventually got it connected. I attempted to install the back cover. However, the back cover would not fit over the SSD with the cooler kit installed. Now, if you look on Amazon, it states there are a couple of protrusions which need to be trimmed from the back cover if you have an SSD that's thicker than 2 millimeters. Here's a closer look at the two items that need to be trimmed. And here's where the Dremel came in. I carefully trimmed both of the protrusions. Now remember, the seller recommends that you use a SSD thinner than 2 millimeters. So if you have one that size, you probably won't have to do this. Here's what the back plate looked like after I dremeled it. Now, if you're wondering what dremeling your Legion Go does to your warranty, I don't know for a fact, but I think we can pretty much assume that it voids it. Also, I do not recommend making any modifications that will permanently alter your device, and it's inherently dangerous to use power tools. I tried to reinstall the back cover again, but unfortunately, it still didn't fit. So I installed the SSD without the copper thermal plate. One thing that bothered me about this adapter was there was nothing that attached the SSD to the adapter, besides the port. I'm guessing it won't be a problem, since it faces downwards, this being the top and this the bottom. But I would have felt better if I could screw the SSD in place, like on this adapter I got for my ROG Ally. Finally, I placed the cover back on the Legion Go. I replaced the six screws on the back, then turned it on. I had to wait a little bit, but it started up. I didn't have to go through the long process of downloading and installing Windows all over again. 
nor did I have to reinstall Legion Space. I found my games within my library, but I found several I had to update. I was able to play all my favorite games from my new 4TB SSD. However, when I went into Windows to check the temp of the new SSD, I found Windows was only recognizing 1.86TB of the 4TB SSD I installed. I went into Disk Management and found that my 4TB of SSD had been partitioned. 1,818GB of it was placed into unallocated space. When I tried to extend the volume of the partition I was using and combine it with the unallocated space, I found the Extend Volume option was grayed out and I wasn't able to. There was 1.95 gigabytes partitioned between the space I was using and the unallocated space. Now, remember when I said I wasn't going to have to download any software for the cloning process? Well, I checked the internet for a solution to my problem with the partitions. I found AOMI Partition Assistant. I downloaded the free version. I installed it on my system. It'll ask you if you want to upgrade to the paid version, but I just stuck to the free one. When I started the software, another pop-up asked if I wanted to upgrade. I just clicked the X to close the pop-up. AOMI had a very easy to understand user interface. The disk with the partition I wanted to move was at the bottom. I just clicked on the 1.96 gigabytes that I wanted to move, then selected Resize Move Partition. A pop-up window opened. I used their slider to move the 1.96 gigabytes to the end of the disk. I hit OK and then apply at the top left of the screen. Confirm that I wanted to proceed, and Naomi proceeded to move the partition. I went back into disk management and found the unallocated partition was now right next to the partition I was using. I then used extend volume to combine the unallocated space with my C partition. I didn't change any of the default settings, I just selected next, and then finish, and Windows combined the two partitions. The end result? One giant 4 terabyte partition. Sort of. Once everything was done, I went into Windows settings to check the temp of the new SSD. I powered on the Legion Go and just let it set idle for about 10 minutes. Windows showed the SSD temperature as 36 degrees Celsius. The exterior temperature of the Legion Go was 27.1 degrees Celsius. I began playing Call of Duty. I had the Legion Go set to performance mode. The resolution was set to 1280 by 800 and the refresh rate at 60 Hz. Everything seemed to work fine. I didn't have any issues loading the game, and I was playing it normally. But, about 16 minutes later, Call of Duty suddenly stopped working, and I received the dreaded blue screen. The Legion Go did start back up again. I immediately went into window settings and checked the temperature of the SSD. Windows showed the SSD temp was 54 degrees Celsius and my infrared thermometer showed 30.5 degrees Celsius. I started the Legion Go again and started playing. I continued playing without any issues. I checked the temperature of the SSD again about 40 minutes later. Windows showed the SSD temp was now 53 degrees Celsius, while the outside temp was at 37 degrees. I've used the Legion Go several more times, and the blue screen hasn't come up again. I'll update you guys in the community tab if I have any further issues. See you in the next one.